Hey guys, in this video I am turning my attention back onto the mule. Uh, we are going to be installing a winch on this uh, mule today and uh, hopefully I have everything I need to install it. I uh, might need a couple of brackets here and there but I'm going to cross my fingers that I have everything I need right now and I can at least mock it up, put it on and uh, possibly do all the wiring for it. So uh, let's further ado, let's get started and uh, see what we got first. So as we go over to the mule here, I bought a um, 2,500 pound Badland winch. Um, it's for an ATV, UTV, um, and it does have the nice option where you can pull this out and it'll do a self reel. It kind of puts it into that. And then I also have all the wiring. So this wiring right here will go straight into the winch itself. I have a nice little uh, key fob for on, uh, extend retract. And then I have a couple nuts and bolts here and there, and then I got all the wiring I need to install it to the battery, which is down in here. So first things first, I'm going to have to remove this uh, front brush guard here and get that all taken off, and uh, we'll see if I can uh, get this installed in here. Hey guys, so there's four bolts in the front of this brush guard. I'm going to quickly uh, take these off quick, and then... Uh, We'll get working on uh, getting in there to uh, put the winch in. Right up out of there. And then move it off to the side. And then we will see if I have enough room in here to mount up the winch, which is supposed to mount up in there. It's going to be freaking tight. Hey guys, so I found uh, a spot that will work to uh, mount this up. I'm currently just going to get everything uh, wired up and then run the wires down through behind the radiator here and uh, then I can run the wires to the positive and negative on this and then I'll run the bolts in, run them in here. There's two little bolts right here that's going to work perfectly for and then I will have to run the rest of the wiring back to the battery. But first, I'm going to get this all mounted, get the wiring run from the bottom here. On the tripod here, but I'll kind of show you what I'm get working with. So I'm probably going to mount the uh, box here. I have a box. So I'm going to probably mount that box maybe uh, right here with the plaques. I'm going to probably just use some uh, soft tappers. Uh, screw it in right there and then run my wiring down in there and uh, that should work perfectly and then I'll just have to loosen up um, this board this uh, metal plate here run my wiring through into the battery which is uh, right down underneath there so I'm going to get working on that and I will touch base with you here uh, momentarily okay guys so I just ran uh, drilled two uh, holes out and we'll show you in here. Got two holes drilled behind this wiring here. So you can kind of see them in there. Got those held. I'm going to have to remove this here. 
and then I can run the wiring down in here and make it a really nice clean install. But till then, I'm going to uh, just start running the wires and then actually mount the box here as well. So I have to run both of these wires. I drilled one hole for each wire. Okay, so I'm going to run the wiring through there, pull, pull the wiring a little bit. So I have the wiring up there a little bit now. Uh, next thing I'm going to have to do is mount my box the way I want it to be mounted, which I think I'm going to mount it like like that. Actually, I should probably mount it like this. That way the water doesn't get in there. So I think I'm going to mount it like this and uh, just have to get some soft tappers here and uh, get that the box mounted and then I'll start working on getting the wiring for the actual winch mounted up. Guys, so I got the wiring and everything all ran. I'm just going to have to hook it up to uh, the positive and negative on the actual winch itself. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave the this side go and I'm just going to try to mock, put this one on, tighten it down, and then I'm going to slide it in and then hopefully I can get the bolt in. So I'm going to put the bolt in as, as well and there's a hole right here that I'm going to go to and there's a hole right here that I'm going to go to. So I'm going to try to uh, get working with that and I will touch base with you in a little bit on uh, me getting this all all the, um, I have a washer, box washer, and nut, so I'm going to go underneath here and see if I can get to it. one started here and we are almost ready to go.
Okay guys, so got the front brush guard on, and I noticed I was, <laughs> a funny little thing is, um, when I got this, this was already pre-installed, you can see that it's already on here, you go to mount it in the thing, and look, it doesn't freaking fit, so it looks like I'm going to have to take one of these rollers off, pull these off, that way I can get this in here, and then slide it back in, so I'm going to take this apart, slide it in here, well actually like this, and then I'm going to mount it up in here, and uh, hopefully then I'll be done with the lease this part, and then all I have to do is the electrical. Okay, so I got the one washer out here, or the, the pin, so I'm going to move this enough that I can slip this in through here, and then I will slide everything back in, line everything up, put the washer on, that and then I will try my best to get this other washer in here which is going to be a little tricky so I'm going to get this done here and then I will touch base with you guys when I get it installed Okay. okay guys, so I'm going to work at taking up this floor um, so I can run the wiring through here and then up into the back here. So I'm going to try to hopefully get some of these bolts to get loose. Okay, so I've um, got this almost mounted the way I want it. Currently I'm just going to wrap this uh, little switch up. So I've got a little bit of tape here. Okay guys, so got this all hooked up now, got the wiring all done, I will show you kind of here, put it on my key fob, so you turn it on, it takes three seconds to turn on, then you can extend it, retract it, works pretty good, so it was pretty easy um, install, um, I would say as long as you have the mounting for it, I got really lucky and uh, not having to get a bracket to uh, mount the actual winch itself. I do, and though, have to uh, figure out something here. I'm going to have to uh, make some holes or something. Uh, the, the holes that were here are too wide, about, I would say, a half an inch or so. So I'm going to have to get uh, either a new one of these uh, fair leads or, or make a bracket to mount this and kind of center it up a little bit more. So I'm probably going to make a bracket 
unless I can find a fair lead that's a little bit bigger. So other than that, it uh, turned out really good, really happy with it. So uh, I think I'm going to call the uh, video here, and uh, hopefully uh, you guys are currently trying to install a winch. It goes uh, smoothly as this. So uh, I'll put a link in the description for where I got the winch. It was Harbor Freight Special, uh, $49.99 I believe. So can't beat the price, and uh, we'll see you next time.